picked in the first half and made a big comeback, but ended up falling 76-72. Bellarmine is 15th in the country, 15-3, and, and each team is 7-1 and one in conference play. Mark, how about some keys to today's game? The lady helping me sign up said, okay, you'll be on such and such plan. And I said, wait, can I get on Passport instead? I don't uh, don't really have any keys. I, the key is the you guys are back. The key is to get to the last minute of the game and uh, and uh, outplay them for the last minute because I think it's gonna come down. I think it's going to come down to the last possession. I don't even know. Am I on? I don't know. You are. Okay. You guys are on. It doesn't sound like I am, but. Up. Kendale McCollum, a 6'1 junior from Elgin, Illinois, averages 16 points and 6.5 and assists per game. That's 12th in the country. Jake Verhagen, a 6'6 senior from Appleton, Wisconsin, averages 11 points a game. He leads Parkside in threes with 46, and he made six of them in one game against Drury. Alexander Brown, a 6'3 senior, averages 16.5 per game from Niles, Michigan. He is their best three-point field goal shooter as far as percentage is concerned. He makes 47% from behind the line. Goran Zagarek, a 6'9 senior, averages 8.4 points and 5.6 rebounds per game. And rounding out the starting five is Kyle Flanagan, a 6'9 sophomore who averages seven points and five boards per game. For Bellerman, it'll be Al Davis, a 5'9 senior out of Colorado Springs, averaging 12.4. Rusty Troutman, the 6'5 senior from Mount Washington, averages 13 points per game, but has increased that by two here in conference play. He averages 15 points against GLBC teams. Tyler Jenkins, a 6'2 junior from Indianapolis, averages 9.4 points per game, and he averages 11 against conference opponents and is shooting 48% from downtown in GLBC action. George Knott, the 6'5 senior from New Albany, Indiana, averages three points per game, had the big game against Quincy when he had six points and a couple of rebounds. And Adam Eberhard, the 6'7 sophomore from Evansville, the leading scorer and rebounder for the Knights, averaging 18.7 rebounds per game, and of course has made that top 100 watch list for the Bebo Francis Award. Parkside is in green, trimmed with black. Bellarmine is in the home white, trimmed with burgundy. The other night against USI, Parkside was outscored by 14 points at the free throw line and yeah. out-rebounded by five. But really their problem was when they were outscored by seven points in the points off turnovers, 19 to 12, although each team had only 10 in that game, so it's, it was the only game all year that Parkside did not make over 10 free throws. They only had 11 shots from the free throw line, made seven, and Southern Indiana had uh, made 21 of 29. So, uh, and it wasn't like Parkside had to foul late in the game because it was a two, three point game all the way to the end. So, just uh, Parkside couldn't get to the foul line for whatever reason. Parkside scored 50 points in the paint yeah. in that game uh -oh. too. So, that's yeah, look at that size out there. Yeah, you've got Flanagan at 6'9", jumping against Eberhard, who is 6'7". They start two 6'9 players. And Adam gets a tap every time. It doesn't matter who he's jumping against. Davis to Jenkins on the right wing. And now to Troutman at the top left. Eberhard out front, and now hands to Davis. Al to Eberhard on the left side of the circle. Back out front to Jenkins. Right side, they swing it down low to Davis. And now to Knott, right of the lane. He turns and lost it. And the rebound, or the loose ball, rather, recovered by Flanagan of Parkside. McCullum comes to the offensive end for the Rangers. Bellerman is man-to-man. -man. Pass off on the right sideline. They've changed the lineup. Shavaris Flanagan is starting instead of uh, Brown. Flanagan, 6'5", junior, and the pass intended for him was batted away by Bellerman, and Troutman comes away with it. His pass deflected, and another turnover for the Knights as McCullum comes away for Parkside. McCullum left side of the circle, pitches it right side to Brown. Now they get it down low to Flanagan, baseline right. Out to Zagarek along the right sideline. Out front to Brown. 
Correction, Verhagen is the player not starting for Parkside. Working here, Brown top of the circle, left side McCullum. Underneath it goes, and a one-hand jam put down by Zagarek. And Parkside scores first. 2 nothing. Rangers lead it. Jenkins on the right wing, out front to Troutman. Troutman against the man defense put up by Parkside. Jenkins being guarded by Brown. Right side, they go now to Troutman, out front to Davis. Davis steps inside the line. His shot is partially blocked, mm. but Everhard there mm. missed the layup. And Parkside the other way. McCullum front court, right sideline, gives to Brown. Out front to Flanagan, left side of the circle. They swing it there to Sh uh, Shavaris Flanagan. And his pass is thrown away, tried to get it to Zagarek down low. Parkside is starting two Flanagans, but they are not related. One spells his name F-L-A-N-A, -A, the other one F-L-A-N-I. And, of course, both ending in G-A-N. Two to two in turnovers. Two to nothing, Parkside in the score. Two minutes into the game here. Troutman, left side of the key for Bellerman, out front to Knott, right of the circle to Jenkins. Jenkins to Troutman at the free throw line. Rusty to Eberhard, baseline jumper, 15-footer, doesn't fall. And the rebound pulled off by Shabaris Flanagan of Parkside. Gets it ahead to Alexander Brown. Brown to Kyle Flanagan, baseline six-footer, rolls in there. 4 nothing in favor of Parkside. Here's Bellerman attacking, out front to Troutman. Now Jenkins above the arc, right of the circle. To Davis out front, now to Knott off the circle left. To Eberhard, posting, mid-post, left of the lane. Goes into the paint, fakes Zagarek. Underhand scoop goes in, and he is fouled by <laughs> Goran Zagarek. I'm not sure how that went in, but uh, what a shot by Adam. Falling off to his left, threw it up with his left hand off the glass and rolled it in. So Eberhard on the free throw line, a 90% foul shooter in addition to his outstanding work on the glass and from the scoring column, and he hits a three-point play, and Bellerman is on the board. The Knights trailing 4-3, 17-20 to play here in the first half. Parkside attacking. The Rangers going from right to left. Shabaris Flanagan out front to Zagarik, and his pass is batted down and stolen by Jenkins. Tyler down the right of the lane is shut off. Gets it out to Knott, right side of the lane. Out front to Jenkins. Jenkins into the paint. Tries to dump it low. Does to Everhard, yes. and he lays it in. Great shot by Adam. I tell you, George missed Rusty. He was open in the corner on the right side, the same side George was on, but he never did see him. Bellerman up by the count of 5-4. to four. Shabaris Flanagan bounces out to Zagarek at the top of the circle. Goran takes a look. Now finds Brown off the circle right, guarded by Davis. Alexander drives it. The floater, a glass and rim, no good. Rebound tipped by Knott over to Eberhard. And his pass intended for Jenkins thrown away. And it'll be a turnover to Bellerman. Alex Cook, the freshman, comes in replacing a George Knott, Mark. That's a good outlet pass. Just Tyler wasn't looking for it. I mean, he's got to be looking. He's the guard. He was headed to the other end of the floor, but you got to be looking for the ball. McCullum to Shavaris Flanagan above the circle left side. Out front to Kyle Flanagan at the right of the key to McCullum. Back to Kyle Flanagan. Left side to Brown. Down low to Zagarek. Lay it up. No. They wave it off. And we've got a foul called. Zagarek maybe. Nope. A blocking foul. Because yeah, it's in the arc. On Eberhard. Yeah, because the other two refs ran in there because they knew where the, where the defender had planted. Definitely in the arc. That's why they changed it. Zagarek, I think, thought maybe they were going to call it against him, and he was pretty disgusted. Now he's going to the free throw line for two. Well, it would have been against him if uh, I don't know who took it. Was it not who took the? Uh, Eb Eberhard. Eberhard. If Adam had been out of the arc, it would have been a charge. So we await the free throws here for Goran Zagarek and Bellerman leading. Five to four. Zagarek on the line. Wow. And he missed it. He missed it badly. Barely hit the front of the rim. Almost an air ball. That he would never have heard the end of. Joe Borsha has checked in for Parkside, and Zagarek misses them both. He's only a 59.5% foul shooter. Five to four, Bellerman by one. Jenkins above the arc, and a whistle, and a foul. And that'll go against Parkside's Shabaris Flanagan. 
It was against Rusty Troutman, who was cutting down through the lane. Just grabbed him. Jake Verhagen comes in for Parkside, replacing Zagarek. Troutman baseline right, gets it in to Davis. Out front to Everhard. 5-4 Bellman, four minutes into the game. Davis out midcourt, balancing the court. High left to Cook, and now to Jenkins, deep on the left sideline. Out front to Davis, to Everhard at the free throw line. Adam puts it on the deck, into the right corner to Troutman. His three is good. Good pass, Everhart. Looked like he was going up for that one, but uh, he's got a big guy on him, so he finds Rusty open in the corner, and Rusty nails it. Bellerman has scored eight straight points. Verhagen out front to Shavaris Flanagan. High left to Alex Brown. Out at the top of the circle there, they get it to Borsha. Now a drive by McCullum and a foul against Bellerman. And that'll come with 15.28 to play. That'll get us to a timeout. The foul is against Tyler Jenkins. And Bellerman leading 8-4 here in the early going at night's all. This is Bellerman basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. Three turnovers apiece. And the inbounds comes to Verhagen. His baseline shot from the right is no good. And a foul off the rebound. It's on uh, Borsha, his first, and the third on the team. He's complaining. I'm not sure what he did either. Him and Alex Cook went up, put up uh, for it at the same time. Joe Borsha with the foul for Parkside, and Bellerman in possession. Here's a looping pass underneath, and nice. Cook puts it in. Nice delivery from Troutman. Nice decision for Alex to uh, not try to dunk that or do anything fancy with it. Just caught it and laid it off the glass. Ten straight points for Bellerman. Brown inside the hash mark left side out front to Borsha. Top right now to Verhagen. A bounce speed low right to Brown. Works on Davis. Wheels to the baseline. Mm. Underneath it goes and a layup. Missed by Borsha. Tipped by Borsha. No. And the wow. rebound to Davis at Bellerman. Borsha right around the rim. Good and finish. Here's D Jenkins right of the lane, out front to Troutman. Rusty puts it on the deck, attacking Borsha. Out front to Jenkins, Tyler left of the lane. Mm. Throws a bad pass, and it hops out of bounds, and that'll be a turnover for the Knights. Uh, Jarrett Coles coming in, replacing Al Davis. Bellerman's been a little turnover prone here in the early yep. stages, but they lead it 10-4. to four. four turnovers. I thought Rusty, he had that open three. I don't know why he didn't shoot it the first time he touched it. Brown inside the left hash, out front to Borsha, now to Verhagen, right side for Parkside. To Shavaris Flanagan, out front, now top left to McCullum. Down low it goes to Borsha, back out to McCullum, he walked. So the Rangers turn it over. Here comes Zarek, Zaregek back in for uh, Parkside, and in for the first time today is Adam Bonk, pretty good three-point shooter, the sophomore from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Parkside only turned it over 10 times against Southern Indiana. They've already got four. Jenkins out front to Coles. Gets a screen from Cook. Jarek off the circle left. Passes to Jenkins right of the key. Jenkins down the right of the lane. Ah. Charged 
Tyler has picked up two fouls. That'll get it back to Parkside. 14.07 to play in the half. Jenkins is now out of the game, and Al Davis is back in. Just trying to make uh, too much happen there, Tyler was. Definitely uh, threw that arm out there and pushed off. McCullum brings it across the mid-court court stripe, guarded by Coles. Now sideline right to Verhagen with Troutman. Out front, Zagarek being played by Cook. Now Borsha being checked by Eberhardt. Passes on the right side to Bonk, guarded by Davis. Bonk out to McCullum, left side of the circle. Stops and fires, got it. His foot was on the line. McCullum with his first two points, 10 to 6. Bellerman by four. Coles for the Knights, out front, hands to Davis. Al comes around to the right, gives to Troutman. Back out front to Coles, a screen from Eberhard off to the left. Back to Adam at the top of the circle. Right side, they swing it to Troutman. Down in the right corner to Cook. Guarded by Borsha. Out it goes to Coles. Jarek drives, lost it, and it's out of bounds. Who's ball? Bellerman's, I yep. believe. Bellerman ball. Brent Bach and Ben Wire in for the Knights for the first time. Checking in for Parkside is Espen Fierstead out of Bergen, Norway. Five on the shot clock. Bach looking to get it in. Throws it way out to Davis. Al will have to go to work and fire a 22-footer. Back of the rim, no good. War for the rebound. It is won by Verhagen of Parkside. Gets it ahead to McCollum, left side. Bounce pass behind him to Verhagen. Stops and buries a three. So Bellerman on that 10-0 run. Now they're uh, Parkside's on a 5-0 run. 10-9, Knights by one. Bach on the angle right. Out front to Coles. Jarek above the three-point line. Now drives it into the paint, faking on Borsha. Can't shoot to Davis in the left corner. Out to wire, left of the circle, and now to Coles. Off to Davis, Al left of the lane, nearly had it tied up, throws it back to Bach. Brent drives to the free throw line, buries the jumper. Boy, he lost control of it too. He gained uh, he gained control while he was in the air and, and squared that one up and made it. Good Tw shot by Brent. 12 to nine. Here is Zacharik working on Cook, and Zacharik lost the dribble. Up with it is Coles. Takes it the other way and lays it in. Wow. Pretty shot by Coles. Yeah. He avoided the foul and uh, made it a hard shot, but he made it. Went to the other side of the rim. Here's a shot by McCollum from the top of the circle. Not there. Coles with the rebound for Bellerman. Coles attacking right down the lane. He goes, hits the deck, and... Uh, Two shot foul. Yep, we've got a foul called against Parkside. They're going to call it on Zagarik. That'll be his second foul. Fourth on the team, and Jarek Coles will be on the free throw line for the Knights. 14-9, to Bellerman fell behind 4-0, scored 10 straight points, then saw Zagarik, uh, rather saw Parkside make a bit of a comeback as Coles hit the free throw. And now Bellerman stretched it out to six, 15 to nine. George Knott back in replacing Alex Cook. 12.04 to play in the half. Surprise, Coles is getting two shots. I, he never never looked like he even attempted to shoot it. He was just like a, looked like a fullback trying to get some yardage. <laughs> he got knocked down and got uh, two free throws for his trouble, and he made them both. And Bellerman now stretches their lead to 16 to nine. This is their biggest. Verhagen deep on the right wing. Out front now to Chavaris Flanagan, who's back in there. High left to Alexander Brown. Back out front to Flanagan. Right wing, they go to Verhagen. Now Chavaris Flanagan at the top again for Parkside. Flanagan needs some help. Out front, it goes to Kyle Flanagan, who's back in as well for the Rangers. Verhagen drives baseline right side, pull up. Shot an air ball from 10 feet. Davis has the rebound for Bellerman. Davis, top of the circle, oh, right side out, to wire, out, and he call his call for a charge. Oh. Boy, if that's not a freshman mistake, I don't know what is. Ben had nowhere to go that time. And that gets us to a timeout. Bellerman, though, leading by seven over Parkside, 16-9 with 11.29 to play in the first half. This is Bellerman basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. About sports. It's easy to find the sports content you care about, right? Wrong. We're not talking about the content overload you see every day. We're talking about the teams and athletes you truly care to follow. Your sons, daughters, friends, and neighbors, no matter their level of play, professional, college, high school, 
There's never been a way to find this sports coverage in one place. Until now. StatSub covers the teams and athletes that have all the fans but none of the coverage. Visit StatSub.com for more info. Back to Bellarmine Men's Basketball with Doug Orme and Mark Bug. Passport Health Plans, proud to sponsor the Bellarmine Student Athletes Community Service Program, Nights in Action. Both Passport Health Plans and Bellarmine dedicated to helping Kentuckians live healthier lives. For more information, go to PassportHealthPlan.com. During that timeout, the Bellarmine men's and women's tennis teams were being recognized at midcourt for putting together an event honoring or helping with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Got a nice hand from the crowd here. Shavaris Flanagan to Kyle Flanagan off the circle right side for Parkside. Throws it out high at the top right to Brown. Left side, Shavaris Flanagan. And now gives to Verhagen at the top right. Now he hands to Brown. Eight seconds to shoot. Brown going to work now, driving in contact. Put it up and in. Wow, he took a little bit of a bump. Still finished. And that's his first two. And it's 16 to 11, Bellerman by five. Davis to Eberhard above the circle, right side. Wire comes out, sets the screen. Eberhard towards the top, gives to Troutman. Back to Wire, right of the circle, open for three, buried it. <laughs> That's his favorite spot. He still hasn't convinced uh, the GLVC teams that he can shoot that three, apparently, because they're leaving him open. That's his 13th triple of the season. And Bellerman has their biggest lead now, 19 to 11. Shavaris Flanagan out front for Parkside. Top left to Verhagen. Now to Kyle Flanagan. Turn, shoots over wire. Left it short. All Bellerman underneath. Eberhard with the rebound for the Knights. Pitches it ahead to Troutman. Back to Eberhard. And now to Davis on the left wing. Al drives to the free throw line. Dumps Great it underneath. Pass. Eberhard missed the layup. And the rebound knocked out to Kyle Flanagan. New man in the lineup for Parkside. It's Ooh, look out, Adam and... A shot missed and colliding Eberhard and Kyle Flanagan underneath. And the foul is on Kyle Flanagan. That'll be his first. I'll tell you, Adam Eberhard missed that layup down there, and he sprints to the other end of the floor and gets that rebound. And then got uh, got undercut while he, while he was in the air. But he's okay. It'll be Bellerman's ball. That was the fifth team foul against... Parkside, Goran Zagarik back in there for Parkside, replacing Verhagen. Good crowd in here today. Best crowd we've had this year. Still some empty seats, but uh, still the best crowd. Troutman deep on the right wing for Bellerman. The Knights by eight. Troutman now drives in the foul circle, out to wire. Ben driving against Flanagan. Ooh, and what do we call? have? A foul against Eberhard. Ooh, that's two on him. The official, Chris Hudson, making the motion with like he was trying to wrap his arms around someone to get free down there. Pick Russell, Isn't Chris Hudson, Greg Webb are the other officials. Isn't that two on Eberhard? I thought he got uh, that, that charge. That, that block must not been on him in the in the. Yeah, we'll check when in we the get circle the, down here earlier. Yeah, when we get the official box score here, we'll check in a moment. Here is a McCullum driving to the left of the lane. His pass deflected. Davis up with it and has Troutman with him. Gets it to Rusty. Yeah. Missed the layup, but he is fouled on the fast break attempt. And the crowd here appreciates the effort. The foul is against Alexander Brown. His first and the team's sixth, and Troutman will be on the line for Bellerman. I think that was Rusty that took that charge in the, in the, in the arc down here. We gave that foul to Adam. Free throw is good by Troutman. So now he has four points, and Bellerman has their biggest lead, 20 to 11, up nine now. Just speed right there, just out, outran the, the Parkside player for that one. 
Troutman hits the second one, 21 to 11. Bellerman by 10. McCullum brings it up for Parkside, angling right. Gives it to Shavaris Flanagan deep on the right sideline. Out front to Zagarek at the high left. They got it to Brown, and now Kyle Flanagan loops the pass back out deep right side to McCullum. Left side to Brown, uncorks a three, way off the mark, and the rebound Davis of Bellerman. He beat Troutman to it. Davis to Troutman, right of the circle, right side Everhard, drives into the lane, left corner to Wire for a three, ring it up. <laughs> Got a great pass, Adam Everhard. And Coach Luke Regal of Parkside says, hold the phone here, let's take a timeout. A 30-second timeout being called for by the Rangers, and Bellerman streaking now to a 24 to 11 lead. They were down four nothing, so they're on a 24 to seven run mark. Yep. Keyed by three-point shooting by freshman Ben, ben Wire. Wire. Ben yep. Wire's hit two here in the last uh, three or four possessions. 24 to 11, Bellerman leads it by 13. Rusty, a couple free throws. Oh, who else has scored in that little flurry? Eberhard Eber, started Adam, it quickly. Yeah, Adam had a couple. He had he had five points in that first uh, segment. But now that lead is up to 13. It was seven at the under 12 timeout. And that, that occurred at 11.29. So we're approaching 8.29. So in three minutes, Bellerman has put together an 8-2 to two spurt. Alexander Brown out front, Kyle Flanagan. And now to Shavaris Flanagan, top of the circle to Zagarek. Left wing, it goes to McCullum. He drives the lane, put it up and in, and he is fouled. Kendale McCullum has four points. He'll look for five at the line. He's pretty quick, quick on quick. He's tough to guard. Alex Cook back in for Bellerman. Now Eberhard draws the foul, and now that is his second. I don't have Troutman with a foul, so you may be right about that, that it yeah, was Rusty. He's got, he's got one. And I don't remember him getting one, so it had to be that play. Sometimes, to be honest, we're screened out either by the coaching staff of Bellerman or the official who is actually in, in his proper spot. But sometimes it's tough to see on contact plays underneath the basket. Kendale McCullum, terrific all-around player for Parkside. He hits the free throw, has five points, averages... 6.4 assists and four rebounds to go with his 16 points. Cook at the free throw line for Bellerman. His pass is deflected and stolen by Parkside up ahead to McCullum. He drives and Cook goes up, blocks the shot, but they're going to say score the ball, score the goal. Alex tried to erase his mistake, got yep. back there, but got called for the goaltending. McCullum gets credit for the bucket. So now he has seven, and it's 24-16. Bellerman by eight as we near the eight-minute mark in the first half. Troutman on the left wing for the Knights in the foul circle. Kyle Flanagan trying to take him. Rusty is quicker off the bounce to Knott, left side of the circle. Out front to Coles. Jarek working right side to Knott. Whistle underneath. The foul is against Verhagen, who has checked in for Parkside. That'll be his first. And that brings us to a timeout, 7.55 to play. Bellerman led in scoring by Rusty Troutman with five and Adam Eberhard with five. And the Knights lead at 24-16. This is Bellerman Basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. When Bellerman needs excellent tribal play.
Harmon men's basketball with Doug Orme and Mark Bug. 7.55 to play in the half, and Bellerman with a eight-point lead at 24 to 16. 13 was their biggest lead. That came with 8.51 to play here in the half. And as we come back, it'll be Alex Cook on the free throw line. The freshman out of mail is an 83% foul shooter and hits the first shot, so he'll get another one. This was the one and one for Bellerman, their first opportunity at the line for the bonus. And Cook hits the second one. So Alex with four, and Bellerman stretches the lead to 10, 26-16. Kendale McCullum into the offensive end for Parkside. At the high left to Alex Brown, to Kyle Flanagan out front, over to Verhagen, deep on the right sideline. Jake comes toward the top of the circle to Shavaris Flanagan, dribbles around Cook, feeds Verhagen in the right corner. Now out to Brown, bounce pass underneath to Shavaris Flanagan, no good, but Kyle Flanagan there to uh, flush it in, and they did they call uh, him for a tech? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty bad call. That's a pretty bad call. He hung on the rim for less than half a yeah, second. Yeah, split second. That was terrible. But they called it. Basket by Flanagan was good. Flanagan number don't, see, uh, don't see many dunks in D2 basketball, and I think that one kind of took the ref by surprise. And he gets called for a, a tech and also a per that goes as a personal. And Troutman will be on the free throw line for Bellerman. And he missed wow. the first. And that'll be Bellerman's ball. That's an administrative foul. All right, they've changed that so it does not count as a personal. It's just an administrative what, what, issue. Rusty missed both those? He only had one oh, okay. and missed it. Troutman right, out right side of the circle. Now to Davis. Yeah, on the left side to Knott. Throws it back out front, Troutman. Now Coles comes out to take it right of the circle. The Knights work it around with Knott on the left wing. And now Davis out front. Troutman to a cutting Davis. And his shot is partially blocked. Goes out of bounds. Borsha, who has checked back in, I think got a hand on it. Not is out of the game. Ben Wire back in. Ben actually leading Bellerman with two threes today and six points. And now Rusty Troutman, who does a little bit of everything here for Bellerman, helping wipe up the floor. Adam Bonk is checked back for Parkside. Troutman with a lob to Cook wow. right there to dunk it. Wow. Well, you can see Rusty look up, and then yeah. out of the corner of my eye, I saw Cook flying to the goal. 28-18, Bellerman by 10. Borsha with it out high at the top of the circle. Now right side to McCullum. Now to Shavaris Flanagan, fakes the three. Pitches it left side, and a three by Verhagen. Not there. And Davis with the rebound. The Knights on the run. Davis, right of the circle to Wire. Out front to Davis. Left wing to Troutman. He goes baseline. Reverse Ooh. layup is not there. Oh. Wire followed it. Couldn't go. Gosh. And Flanagan comes away with it for Parkside. Left side, Verhagen. Kicks it out to Bonk. His three-pointer in the air and in the bucket. Wow. Bonk has hit 24 threes. Shoots 52% from behind the line for Parkside. He's dangerous off the bench from long distance. Coles for Bellerman off the circle left. Drives it into the lane. Leaves it for Cook. Alex faking. Out front to Troutman. Left side, Davis. Down in the left corner to Coles. Top left to Troutman, now to Wire, left elbow, turns and fires, not there. Cook offensive rebound, puts it on the deck and now throws out to Troutman. Rusty's pass intended for Wire, batted down, Ooh. and a steal by Parkside, and Shavaris Flanagan takes it to the basket and lays it in. 28-23, Parkside back to within five. They were down by 13 about midway through the half. Troutman out front for Bellerman to Coles, Jarek to Cook, Alex to the right of the lane, and he's fouled there. The foul is against Bonk. Yeah, besides Lincoln Memorial, this is probably the second best uh, defensive team we've played all year. Coles and Troutman leave, and so does Wire for Bellerman. Jenkins, Bach, Eberhard back in. What do, you, what do you like about them from a defensive? Just, uh, we got a lot of quickness out front. Those, those guys out, out front are as quick as uh, Tyler and... 
and Al Davis. And then their inside guys have a lot of length, a lot of size in there, and they're very active. I mean, we're making passes today that we make every day, but they're getting picked off today. 29-23, Bellerman is Cook at the first free throw. He's got seven off the bench. Wire has six off the bench, Mark, so the freshman continuing to make an impact for yeah. the Knights. And now Cook with eight points as he hit the second free throw. Skyler Hunter into the game replacing Alex Cook, who gets a pat from Coach Scott Davenport. You're talking about the crowd here a moment ago. The other night against Lewis, Bellerman drew 1,723, which is the biggest crowd of the season here at Knights Hall. We'll see where they end up today. Goran Zagarek back in for Parkside. Alex Brown on the right wing for the Rangers to Kyle Flanagan. He goes baseline, and he is called for the double dribble. I'm going to go about 1,900 today. It's my, it's my guesstimate. So Bellerman off the turnover will have possession, leading by seven. The Knights and Parkside both 7-1 and one in the GLBC East. USI also 7-1. and one. They're hosting 6-2 and two Lewis today. Eberhard to Davis on the left side. Now to Bach on the wing left. Out front to Jenkins. Now to Hunter. Right side to Bach. Down low to Eberhard on the block. Nice. Goes up and lays it in. Defender went for the steal and missed it and, got, and went right past Adam. Adam had a clear path to the basket for the layup. 32-23. Cross court pass to Bach on the left side. Bach trying to cover him up in a hurry. Out to Verhagen from the left, his three, short. Rebound to Eberhard, gives to Davis. Knights on the run. Davis in the foul circle, leaves it for Eberhard. Ooh. Nearly lost it. Into the right corner to Bach, open for a three-pointer. Bingo! The Augusta Rifle knocks one down, and Bellerman up by 12, 35-23. Bellerman getting great work off the bench today. Yeah, really are. Great shot by Brent, really active to get open in that corner. Bonk at the top right. At the high left now to Kyle Flanagan, gives it to McCullum. Kendale to the free throw line underneath Kyle Flanagan there to put it in. Flanagan with six, and it's a 10-point Bellerman lead. 35-25, Knights by 10. Jenkins on the angle right, out front to Eberhard, leaves it for Bach, finds Davis at the free throw line. Now to Jenkins, off the circle left. Tyler in the foul circle. Now to Eberhard, left wing. Low to uh, Skyler Hunter. Hands it to Davis on the left wing. Out front to Hunter. Right side, they work it to Bach. Brent into the lane, needs help. Now Jenkins, left wing. Three seconds to shoot. Tyler's three is good. <laughs> that's not the way you draw it up, but that's a big shot by Tyler there with two seconds on the shot clock. Bellerman equals their biggest lead of 13, 38-25 as we near the three-minute mark in the first half. Brown inside the hash mark left for Parkside. Now to Bonk, right side, fakes the three, gets it to Brown right of the lane. Underhand scoop is good by Alexander Brown. He's got four, 38-27, Bellerman by 11. Eberhard to Jenkins. There's a lob pass. That wasn't there. Intercepted by Kyle Flanagan. Parkside running, left side Bonk. Fakes the three, now shoots the three and knocks it in. He let Jenkins fly by him, and Adam Bonk with his second three and a timeout being called for. And we'll have a break right here with 2.46 left. Bellerman's lead, which was 13, is now down to 8. 38 30, the Knights leading here at Knights Hall. This is Bellerman basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network.
has six. Yeah, it's uh, advantage there, but but uh, Parkside's 13 to eight in points off turnovers. We're turning the ball over way too much right now. Coles with it for Bellerman, and now out front to Troutman. Rusty left of the lane, left corner to Cook, right back to Troutman, wheels inside, put it up and in. <laughs> Troutman turning over his left shoulder, now has seven points, and Bellerman leads by 10, 40 to 30, as we hit the 220 mark to play in the first half. Here's a pass to Bonk on the left sideline. Out front to McCullum and back to Bonk. Adam to Shavaris Flanagan out front. Shavaris to Kyle Flanagan above the three-point line left side. Back to Bonk who dribbles near the left of the circle. To Kyle Flanagan on the left wing. Looks down low to Shavaris Flanagan. The pass thrown away. Intercepted by Cook. Gives to Davis. Davis left side to Coles. Back to Davis. Al drives it inside. Put it up and in. Al's first two. 42-30. Bellerman by a dozen. A minute 45 to play in the half. Ref put his hand straight up in the air. I thought he was going to call something, but he didn't He didn't call anything. Shavaris Flanagan out front to Alexander Brown on the left wing. Dribbles across the top to the right of the circle. Whips a pass into the left corner. The ball oh. knocked away. Oh, oh, oh. Coles and Shavaris Flanagan may Jared. have bumped heads. And Flanagan. Boy, Jarek's, Jarek's knee went back under him. Oh, that hurt me just sitting here. Both are up. Coles is walking all right, and Flanagan is a little woozy and is going to come out of the game. Hmm. A minute 30 to play in the half. It's whose ball, our ball? Wow. I thought it went off, uh, I thought it went off Jared Coles' leg. It'll be Bellerman's ball with a minute 30 left in the half. 42 to 30, Knights by 12. They trailed early, four to nothing, but then spurted out to a 10-4 advantage, and they've been in front right throughout. 13 has been their biggest lead. They've had that twice. Coles on the angle right for the Knights. Out front, Troutman alone for three. Wow. Count it. Oh, he came off a screen. I don't know who set it for him, but he came off that screen wide open. Took his time and shot it in from straight away. 15-point lead, Bellerman. McCullum at the top right to Brown. His rainbow three off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Cook of Bellerman. Gives to Davis. Al Motors wow, right down the right lane. By. Put it in. Davis has another gear. 47-30. Bellerman by 17. And that was against their quickest player. McCullum sideline right to Brown. And a whistle underneath. It's going to go against Cook. He does not believe it. Standing there with his mouth wide open. First foul on Cook, and that's the seventh on Bellerman. So Goran Zagarik will be on the free throw line. He's missed two today. Ben Wire in replacing George Knott for Bellerman. Zagarik will have the one plus here. Bellerman done a lot of damage here in the last few minutes. That's without Adam uh, Everhart in there, too. He's on the bench for those two fouls. Zagarik hit the first free throw. Joe Borsha in replacing Kyle Flanagan. 47-31, Bellerman by 16. The two freshman boys have really stepped it up today. Zagarik missed the free throw, and the rebound collected by Davis. Here come the Knights again. 47-31. Coles with it, and now top left to Al Davis. A screen from Wire. Davis gets into the lane, reverses, back out to Troutman. Now to Davis on the left side. Al goes baseline on a drive. Oh, he had a layup. Right side to wire. Missed an air ball uh, with an air ball for a three-point shot. Davis had a wide open. He really did. He layup. didn't know it, but he was wide open. Bellerman by 16. Just 10 seconds to play in the half. Crowd beginning to come to their feet. McCullum at the top left. Works off to the right side of the lane. Ball loose on the floor. McCullum picked it up, put it up on the board, didn't get the roll. But a foul has been called against Wire of Bellerman, and that'll be his second. And it'll be one and one for Kendale McCullum, who has seven points for Parkside. He's their top scorer in the game today. Averages 16 a game. To go with four rebounds, six assists. McCullum's free throw is good, so now he has eight points. 
Shavaris Flanagan and Kyle Flanagan coming back for Parkside. Adam Eberhard in replacing Ben Wire for Bellerman. 47-32, Knights by 15. 1.3 seconds. It'll be hard for Bellerman to get a shot off. McCollum's second free throw is no good. Rebound Eberhard. He just flings one from the backcourt, and it is way wide and short, and that's the end of the half. A good one for Bellerman. They're up by 15, 47 to 32 over the Parkside Rangers. Felton Spencer joins us here at halftime. Felton, uh, terrific first half for the Knights. Uh, some turnovers, but boy, you got to be pleased leading by 15. What did the staff like about that first half of play? They did a really good job defensively getting into them, not letting them get over the screens and get to the bucket like they like to do. Uh, offensively, we did a good job. Uh, they're doing a lot of switching out there, so we've had opportunity to go at a couple guys. But uh, the big thing for us is just to cut down on the turnovers. I think we had 10 that first half, and that really killed us. Or we, We'd have had a much bigger lead if we'd have kept control of the ball. Yeah. Got got a great play out of your bench, especially uh, two big freshman boys today. Absolutely. Ben came in, did a super job for us. Alex is playing very well. Uh, if we just keep, we just want to keep the pressure up on them, keep playing hard. And uh, and basically, I mean, we've been doing a good job. Like I said, the big thing for us is to cut down on turnovers. All right, Felton. Of course, of course, this team was ahead or behind Southern Indiana by 11 and came back and had the lead in the second well, half. So it's a long they, way from been, over. They've been eating into the lead. They, they do a good job. They don't give up. They're yeah. not going to quit on us. So we know that we're gonna, we're gonna, it's going to be a dogfight all afternoon. So we, we just got to keep playing hard. We appreciate you coming out again. Thank you. My pleasure. Felton Spencer right there with some comments here on the fir- in the first half of play. And, again, a lot to like, particularly from the Knights' reserves. We'll talk more about that when our halftime continues. Plus, we'll give you the first half facts and figures. This is Bellarmine Basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. WGTK, Louisville. Like Bellarmine basketball, Highland Insurance is a family. For over 30 years, Highland Insurance has taken care of the Louisville community with high-quality auto. If I lose, I'll respond with respect. If I win, I'll back it up with humility. If I fail, I'll rise up with honor. It's tough for us to put it all on the line. Don't undo my hard work with poor sportsmanship. Respect. It's the name of the game. Under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub. With exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports.
In a partnership with Blue Frame Technology, you can now watch your favorite Great Lakes Valley Conference sports on the new GLBC Sports Network Apple TV app. Easily tune in to live broadcasts or search through thousands of archived broadcasts. Have an older Apple TV? You can still watch on your TV by going to AirPlay on your iOS device and choosing Apple TV. Begin watching your broadcast now on the new GLVCSN app available in the App Store.
courtside for second half action of Bellarmine Knights men's basketball with Doug Orme and Mark Bug. 47-32, Bellarmine with the 15-point advantage. And they were led by Rusty Troutman with 10 points in that first half, but Alex Cook, the freshman from Louisville, had eight. Ben Wire out of Fort Thomas pitched in six. So those two young guys certainly making big contributions. Bellarmine begins the second half with the starting five of Davis, Knott, Eberhard, Jenkins, and uh, Troutman. Parkside comes out with Kyle Flanagan, Kendale McCullum, Goran Zagarek, Alexander Brown, and uh, Chivaris Flanagan. So they come back with their starting five as well. 15-point lead for Bellarmine. Parkside going from left to right, dressed in the green, trim with black. Chivaris Flanagan deep on the left sideline to Alexander Brown, comes to the top. Right side of the circle, gives it up there to McCullum. McCullum pitches into the right corner to Kyle Flanagan for a three, and he wow. nailed it. The big guy. Yeah, not the, not the start you want. That's his fourth three of the season. 47-35, Bellarmine by 12. Troutman top left for the Knights. Gets a screen out front from Eberhard. Pass on the right side goes to Davis, being guarded by McCullum. Davis at the top of the circle. Leaves it for Jenkins. Tyler down the free throw lane. Doesn't shoot. Hands it off to Troutman. Left corner to Knott. George fires up a three. It bounces up off the top of the board. And it'll come back into Parkside. Wow. Why didn't Tyler shoot the ball? He was wide open in the lane. Never looked at the rim. Bellerman averages nearly 19 assists per game. He was <laughs> looking for another one, but you're right. He was wide open there. Shavaris Flanagan, top of the circle for Parkside. Pass into the left corner for McCullum. Missed the three. Flanagan offensive rebound on the weak side, and he sticks it back in. He's got 11 points now, and it's 47-37. And now a whistle. He just grabbed Al Davis so he could get out of the game. He's got a he's bleeding on his hand. I yeah, think. Shavaris Flanagan. <laughs> he just grabbed Al to stop the game. Committed a foul. I don't know if he's bleeding or it's out of out of uh, out of joint. Knocked it out of joint. I don't know. It's shaking. His his, uh, his right hand is shaking. Yeah, medical staff there is looking at his right wrist or elbow. 47-37, 10 point lead, Bellerman. Knights with the ball, Eberhard to Knott, off the circle right. Left of the key, Troutman, open for three, knocks right. it down. That was a big one. Offset that first three that uh, Parkside hit. Rusty has hit three threes today, and Bellerman leads by 13, 50 to 37. Alexander Brown to Jake Verhagen, who checked in there to replace Shavaris Flanagan, and Verhagen couldn't handle the pass. It was a little behind him. Turnover number 10 for Parkside. Both teams with 10 now. So Bellerman with the lead and the ball. Troutman to Davis on the left wing. Now up top to Knott. To Eberhard at the top. Adam takes a look. Passes left side to Jenkins. Tyler puts it on the floor. Into the lane he goes. Right side to Knott. Out front Eberhard. A three-pointer. Off the back of the rim. Not there. And Verhagen rebounds for Parkside. To McCullum. Right side of the circle. Throws it back out front to Brown. Pitches it right side, Verhagen. In the corner to Kyle Flanagan. And a whistle. He is bumped there by Eberhard. And that's three on Adam. Comes with 17.57 to play. Here in the ball game. McCullum to inbound. Baseline right. Gets it into Kyle Flanagan. Hands it to McCullum. Back to Flanagan. Fakes the three, drives, stops, and misses a 10-footer. Zagarek fights oh, for the wow. rebound. Hit the deck. Eberhard comes away with it. Left side to Knott. George to Jenkins. Open for a three. Left of the circle. Back of the rim. Not there. And an offensive rebound. Not. Jenkins tries to throw it underneath to Eberhard. Intercepted Parkside. McCullum to a driving Brown, and he lays it in. Oh, another point. off turnover. 11-point lead for Bellerman. 50-39. to 39. Eberhard to Troutman out front, top right to Davis. Davis to Jenkins between the circles, high left to Troutman. Left wing now, Davis handles it. Low to Eberhard against Zagarek. Adam to a cutting Troutman, the ball knocked away though and stolen. Brown comes up with it, it splits the double team, scores it, and he is fouled. The foul is on Knott. 
And Brown will get an opportunity to cash in with a three-point play. Ooh, just not taking care of the basketball. First foul on Knott and the second on Bellerman. And Brown will be on the line with eight points, looking for nine. And the lead is down to nine. Yep, already uh, two turnovers this half for Bellerman. Gives them 12. And Brown completes the old-fashioned three-point play. Bellerman by eight, 50 to 42. They were up 15 at the half. Not to Eberhard. Off the circle right. Adams says, come on. Davis comes out to take it left side to a cutting Troutman in the lane. Right wing to Eberhard. Fakes. Pulls it out. Gives to Jarek Coles, who's checked in for the Knights. Coles on the left side to Knott. Right wing Eberhard for three. Splash. Didn't shoot any threes the first half. He usually shoots three or four games, seems like, but he hits his second one now this half. That's his 19th triple of the season, and Bellerman up 11. Shavaris Flanagan back in for Parkside. So that's good. He was not injured seriously. Now Brown left of the lane. Right side to Kyle Flanagan. Out high right to McCullum. Kendale puts it on the floor with Davis checking him. Six seconds to shoot. McCullum into the lane. He falls down. And a foul that may be on Eberhard. It is. Man, oh man. That's his fourth foul. Comes with 16 to 11 to play. Yeah, it's definitely the wrong guy. Now the officials may talk about this. Definitely the wrong guy. I think they're saying that it might have been on Troutman. He's going to tell him 22, but it wasn't. Adam backed off so he wouldn't foul. Now they may have to look at this. Uh, Can you? I don't know if you can. If it does stand on Eberhard, it's his fourth. Yeah, and that's huge. It's uh, just getting ready to say Adams. Adams got to play without fouling here, but he did. He backed off that guy, so he didn't, so he wouldn't foul. But my ah, goodness, there is a conference here. Okay, the official tells Coach Davenport that you can look at it. But they <laughs> they really feel it was Eberhard's foul. They don't have to look at it. Oh, just coach, just listen to what he's saying. Co- if if we look at it, then it's gonna they're gonna charge us with a timeout. If they don't make the change. If they change the call, we get our timeout back. Doug Davenport trying to keep his dad away here. They are gonna look at it. 53-42 is the score. Uh-oh, now they just pulled out the... And now the cables have been pulled, or at yep. least some of them have. I could, maybe they don't Those matter. They don't matter. Yeah, they have one in that works. <laughs> that foul was not on, on Adam. They are trying to uh, come up with a verdict here. So now if they do change it to Troutman or if, someone else... Then everything goes on. If, if they don't gets, change it, then we get charged the timeout. As it is, it's three team fouls against Bellerman. And they're still trying to discuss this. This is Pick Russell and Greg Webb here. Chris Hudson is not a part of this discussion. 16 to 11, 16 11 to play, I should say, in the game, and Bellerman up by 11, 53 42. If the foul is on Eberhard, it's his fourth. I don't. 22. They say they it's on it Eberhard. On and they looked at it, and Coach Davenport is still not pleased with that. They said no trip. And now he's <laughs> Coach Davenport trying to grab Doug Davenport away. Now they've got a bench warning on Bellerman. Now I think they're going to be charged a timeout. That's the way I was understanding it. Yeah. And yeah, we got charged a timeout. Uh huh. Timeout was charged to Bellerman. So now it'll be. Four Parkside's fouls. ball and four fouls on Eberhard, and he's out of the game, and Alex yeah, Cook is in. McCullum gets it into Shavaris Flanagan. Out high now to Zagarik. Bellerman's just got to go on and play now. There's McCullum, right side to Shavaris Flanagan. 
Out top left to Joe Borsha, who's checked in, and so is Adam Bonk for the Rangers. He's wearing number four in the green and black. McCullum tries to pass down low for Borsha. They throw it away, and that'll get us to a timeout. 15.53 to play in the game. The argument will continue on the Bellarmine bench, but it won't matter. The Knights lead at 53-42. This is Bellarmine basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. About sports. It's easy to find the sports content you care about, right? Wrong. We're not talking about the content overload you see every day. We're talking about the teams and athletes you truly care to follow. Your sons, daughters, friends, and neighbors. No matter their level of play, professional, college, high school, there has never been a way to find this sports coverage in one place. Until now. Stats Hub covers the teams and athletes that have all the fans but none of the coverage. Visit StatsHub.com for more info. Basketball with Doug Orme and Mark Bug. Mount Joy, Chilton Medley, CPAs and advisors offering a full range of accounting, audit, tax planning, and consulting services for businesses of all sizes, nonprofits, and individuals. As sponsor of Best Coverage, MCM is proud to donate a blanket to Blanket Louisville to help the area's needy during these cold months. So, Bellarmine leads by 11, 53-42. Adam Eberhard is on the bench with four fouls. But the ref called a pushing foul, not a tripping foul. Well, then they watched the film, and they said 22 trip. There's the argument. There is Troutman on the baseline, right side to Knott, out front to Coles. Jarek drives into the lane, pitches it out front to Troutman. Rusty motors down the lane, had it stripped, and knocked out of bounds by Parkside. Boy. Bellerman has 13 seconds to shoot. Now, the good news for the Knights is Alex Cook playing very good basketball he's today have, he's gonna and he's going to have he's going to have to play a lot here here's Coles out high left to Davis Davis works toward the top of the key down the right of the lane now Cook with it left side of the circle against Zagarek three seconds to shoot Troutman fires one up back of the rim no Cook tips it out but it's right to Shavaris Flanagan of Parkside off to McCullum on the left sideline comes to the top of the key right side to Bonk against Coles Bonk back out front to McCullum, swings it left side, Shavaris Flanagan. Now out to Borsha, top of the circle, right side to Bonk. Bonk to a cutting Borsha down the lane, left the layup wow. short, and a charge against Borsha. That'll be his second foul. And that's two on Parkside. <laughs> Parkside coach telling their radio broadcaster that Coach Davenport called that one. Jake Verhagen. That's a horrible call. Comes back in for Parkside. 53-42, 11-point lead for Bellerman. <laughs> Cook with it out front. Now on the left wing to Coles. Man-to-man -man defense by Parkside. Ben Wire is in. He's got it at the top of the circle for Bellerman. Now Coles on the left side. Jarek drives across to the right of the lane. Hands to Wire. Back out. Front to Davis, Al slides to the right side, gives it up to Troutman, he splits a double team, lost it, and it's stolen by Verhagen. Down the floor it goes to McCullum, he lays it up and in. Kendale McCullum, give him 12 points today. 53-44, Parkside back to within nine. Bellerman going from right to left, Coles foul line extended right to Cook. Now Wire right side of the circle. Both these teams 7-1 in GLBC play. Fighting for the top of the Eastern Division. Coles to Wire. A three from the right of the circle. Count it. That's his third. Wow. And 15 on the year for the Fort Thomas freshman. Gigantic shot. I mean, we can't get the ball inside. We can't even get a touch inside now in two straight possessions. 56-44, Bellerman. Bach on the left side for... Parkside to Borsha, left to the key, and now to McCullum drives on Davis. Underhand layup doesn't go. Rebound fought for. Wire tipped it over to Davis. Davis down the lane to the rim. He scores. Nobody. 
Everybody just went wide and, and uh, covered the, the wing guys. Left out wide open to the lane. 58-44, timeout. Parkside. And it's a 30-second. I think they're going to extend this to a full. They are with 13.26 to go. It's Bellarmine 58, Parkside 44. This is Bellarmine Basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. and Mark Bug. The Bellarmine Knights have 995 lifetime victories as they knock off that countdown to number 1,000. Hoping to get a little closer today, but they're having a battle with Parkside. The Knights up by 14, 58-44 with 13.26 to go. And Adam Eberhard, their leading scorer and rebounder, on the bench with four fouls. Picked up his fourth at the 16-11 mark. It's a big five-point flurry there in that last uh, minute. Ben Wires three-point shot and Al's layup. Gets him back out to 14. Shavaris Flanagan will inbound for Parkside. Bellerman nine out of 15 from the three. That'll work. Yeah. They hit 12 threes the other night against Lewis, which is their season high. Alexander Brown on the right wing for Parkside. Above the three-point arc, 12 seconds to shoot. He comes across to the top, right side to Bonk. Back out front, Flanagan. High left to Brown, six seconds to shoot. Brown drives, throws it out now to McCullum. Two seconds left. He gets it off before the shot clock. He missed a drive in the lane. And the ball out of bounds, and it'll come to Bellerman. Did that hit the rim? I, didn't, I don't know. It was short, it looked like. Might have grazed it on the way down. Jarek Coles in the lineup for Bellerman. Gives to Tyler Jenkins, sideline right, out front to Wire. Top left to Davis, out front to Cook. Leaves it there for Coles, and now Jenkins comes out to take it. Tyler hands it to Wire, off the circle, right side. Now back out front to Davis. 12 seconds to shoot, Wire to Davis. High right to Jenkins. To Cook at the top of the key. Alex puts it on the floor. Right side, Jenkins. Tyler goes baseline. Gets it to Cook, right of the lane. Put it up, it doesn't go. Wire tips it out of bounds right over here. And <laughs> got a hand on it. We got a deflection <laughs> there, didn't we? I didn't know whether to go for the ball or the player because I thought we were going to have a player right in our lap. <laughs> uh, I, somebody should write that down. Doug Davenport keeps a lot of those numbers. Bo Brayton, we got a deflection there somehow. <laughs> Jake Verhagen comes back in for Parkside. He replaces Bonk. Coach Luke Regal in his 14th year, former assistant, by the way, to Bo Ryan when both were at uh, Wisconsin Platteville. So he's learned from one of the best. Verhagen, top of the circle for Parkside, left side to Brown. Zagarek sets the screen. Brown comes around it, down the lane, lost the ball, recovered, though, by Parkside, and Flanagan, Kyle, hits a three out of the left corner. That's his second three of the game. Well, he shot that one over Alex Cook, too. Alex was there. And that's only his fifth three-pointer of the season. 58-47, Bellerman. Jenkins at the top left to Davis. Fakes the three. Left side to Cook. Alex driving. Back to Wire, left of the circle. Now out front to Coles. Jarek in the lane. Finds Wire, left side. Ben drives it. Fakes, goes up over Kyle Flanagan. Missed it. Zagarek with a rebound. Gives to McCullum. Parkside can cut it to below 10 here with a bucket. McCullum, high left. On the left sideline, he gives it to Verhagen. Verhagen, right of the key to Alexander Brown. Brown guarded by Jenkins. Brown drives it into the right corner. Kyle Flanagan, another three. This one rims out. Verhagen follows no. McCullum no. But he's fouled underneath as Parkside did a great job there hitting the offensive glass. 
The foul is against Davis. That'll be his first foul. And that'll get us to a timeout. 11-12 to play. It's Bellarmine 58 and Parkside 47. This is Bellarmine Basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. Back to courtside for Bellarmine men's basketball. Bellarmine leading Parkside 58-47 here at Knights Hall. Doug Orme, Mark Bug as the GLBC East try leaders. I say try because USI is also 7-1 in the league. They're playing Lewis today. So it's a big battle at the top of the division. Kendale McCullum will be on the line for Parkside shooting free throws. And he hit the first. He has 13 points, and Bellerman's lead is down to 10. The Knights average 13 turnovers per game, and they've already got 13, yep, Mark. Sitting on 13. Free throw goes again for McCullum. Uh, Bellerman's made four more threes than, than uh, Parkside and and, uh, and three more free throws. That's the difference in the ball game. Brent Bach has checked in for Bellerman. Here's Jarek Coles driving down the left of the lane. Missed the layup. War for the rebound is on the deck. It is loose. Oh, and a foul has been called. Troutman and McCullum banging and hitting the floor. And it's on Troutman. That'll be his second. And that's five on Bellerman. Yep. Yeah, Parkside's only been called for two fouls here. Things aren't looking really good right now with Adam on the bench with four. Yeah, teams go through lulls in games, as you well know, and they can find a way to somehow snap their way out of it. The only time really that didn't happen this year was in the Truman game the other night uh, when they just couldn't get anything started in the second half. Just trying to steal, uh, steal seconds here, still a minute or two. 58-49 Bellerman. 10.50 to play in the game. McCullum on the high left to Verhangen. Bounces out front to Kyle Flanagan. Right side of the circle to Alex Brown. Brown comes to the top of the key. Right side to Kyle Flanagan. Hands it to Verhagen. Still on the right. Verhagen left side to Shavaris Flanagan. Drives. Leaves it off Kyle Flanagan there, and he lays it in. Yep. Boy, Flanagan having a big second half. He scored 10 points in this half, and he's got 16 in the game. 58-51. This is as close as Parkside has been in a while. Seven points. Knights leading. Troutman above the arc left side. Into the foul circle he goes to Wire and out front to Bach. Top right to Coles. Coles gives it to Troutman. We're midway through the half. Cook with it for Bellerman. Drives it into the lane. Alex reverse layup blocked by Verhagen. And Parkside the other way. Alexander Brown looks down low. Throws it up high. Wow off the hand of Flanagan and then it hit the board and Bellerman runs the other way. Coles to wire, his three in the right corner, ring it up! He just keeps hitting big shot after big shot. 61-51, Wire's fourth three of the game, 16th of the year. Bellerman by 10. Left side to Alexander Brown, he goes baseline, pull up and he hits it from about six feet. Ben was there but uh... Shot that one on a double team and still made it. Brown with 11 points now and seven in this half. Coles for Bellerman. Out front wire. Another three. Splash! I saw him do it last year at the Sweet 16, and he's doing it right here at Knights Hall. 
64-53. Bellerman by 11. Wires hit five threes. These teams will get tape on him eventually. <laughs> They'll come out and guard him. Right side, Verhagen. He drives, pulls up on the right baseline. Shot an air ball. Cook with the rebound. Gives to Troutman. Rusty comes ahead with a right-hand dribble. Now circles at the left hash. Out to Coles, and now right of the circle to Cook. Wire. Left side, Coles. Coles drives baseline in traffic. Goes nice up move. and lays it in. Jarek faked him twice. Finally got him in the air, and then... Uh, Shot it in on, on uh, the defender's way down. And Luke Regal says, oh, man, I was down seven a moment it's ago. Now I'm down 13. Timeout. I want a timeout. It's a game of flurries. 8.41 to play, and it's a 30-second timeout called for by Parkside. And the uh, Knights leading here 66 to 53. Here's a reminder that Raising Canes is sponsoring the drive for 85. If Bellerman scores 85 points or more today, Everybody here will receive a buy one, get one offer from Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's, where our one love is quality chicken fingers. 11 out of 17 from the three for Bellerman. Just incredible shooting from the three-point line. Mostly Ben Wire. He's got five. Russ, he's got three. Adam one and uh, Tyler Jenkins one and Brent Bach one. So everybody... Pitching in off the bench today, and here comes Eberhard back in, Mark, with 8.41 to go. With a 13-point lead, I don't whew, I don't know about that move. Well, they'll have a under-8 timeout here in a little bit, so he can maybe sit down again. We'll see, though. He's back in there playing. Shabaris Flanagan, right wing to McCullum. McCullum guarded by Bach. Bellerman's gone to his own, Mark, 2-3. Here's McCullum. His pass is deflected. Davis after it. He's got it. My Gets goodness. it ahead to Troutman. He lays it in. That's all Al Davis right there. Great hustle. And Troutman there to run to take advantage. McCullum for Parkside. Now they get it out to Shavaris Flanagan. Top right to Alexander Brown. To McCullum. He drives. Shot blocked by Wire. Up with the loose ball is Bach. To Eberhard. Left side of the circle. Adam uh -oh. and one of the officials... That's, fell down, Chris Al, Hudson. That's where Al fell too. There's got to be a lot of water over there on the floor. Hudson is up on his feet and is okay. Bellerman in possession. Right side, Eberhard, low to wire. Mm. His pass is knocked Sorry. out of bounds by Parkside. And that'll get us to a timeout and a good thing because now they can wipe up the floor. Bellerman leads by 15, sparked by Ben Wires, 15 points on five threes. It's the night, 68. Parkside 53. This is Bellarmine Basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. Bellerman men's basketball with Doug Orme and Mark Pug. The Bellerman dance team entertaining here during the timeout. The band here as well. Crowd enjoying the festivities and enjoying the way Bellerman is shooting the three-pointer, Mark. Oh, my goodness. you got to love it. 11 out of 17. Ten seconds, ten seconds to shoot here. Southern yep. Indiana 31-25 over Lewis at halftime. The inbounds comes to Davis, out across the top, back to Troutman on the left side, low to wire, and a foul. They've got Parkside with the foul. It's on McCullum. That's only his first, and the third on the team. Here's Alex Cook in, replacing Adam Eberhard. So Adam played about a minute. He came back with 8.41 to play. And played that zone. Played so a little bit foul. of zone. 
Troutman looking to inbound. He does to Cook out at the top left. Now to Davis. Works to the right of the key at long range. Now to Bach at the top left. Brent to the top of the circle. Left wing to Cook. Hands to Troutman. Rusty at the three-point line. Working. Throws out front to Davis. Davis, left side of the circle. Left wing to Troutman. Ten seconds to shoot. Out to Cook. Fumbles. Right side goes to Bach. Brent on a drive. Lays it up. Nobody is fouled. The foul is against Parkside. It's on Goran Zagarek, his third, and the team's fourth. And Brent Bach will be on the line for a pair. Does Alex Cook shoot that three if he doesn't fumble that pass? I and think he wanted to. I think he did, too. He had shot one all day. He usually gets one or two off. He would have been open. Bach's first free throw is good. Brent now with six points. Al Davis gets a rest. Jarek Cole's coming in for him. Zagarek sits down for Parkside, and Kyle Flanagan comes back in for the Rangers. Brent Bach has only missed one foul shot all year. And he has still only missed one. He hit, bangs the second one down. He's 12 out of, or 13 out of 14 on the year now. 70-53, Bellarmine pushes that lead up to 17. And as long as they have that comfortable margin, Eberhard can yeah. sit on the bench. Yeah, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good margin right now. Shavaris Flanagan at the top right to Bonk. Bonk to the left of the circle to Kyle Flanagan. Back to Shavaris Flanagan. Drives, gives it to McCullum. Started to go up with it, lost it off his hands. And it'll come back to Bellerman. Bell and Rusty went after that one awful hard, but uh, it yeah. looked like... Looked like they just lost it off their hand. He went up to shoot it and lost it. And maybe he just wasn't wasn't for know. sure. Yeah, yeah he, wasn't he sure. wasn't going to take any chances. 6.43 to go, and Bellerman by 17. Here's Bach on the left wing inside the hash mark for the Knights. Comes to the top of the circle. His pass tried to get it down low to Cook. Batted down in the paint. Parkside up with the steal. Shavaris Flanagan between the circles for Parkside at the top left to Brown. He drives. Underhand it goes to Kyle Flanagan. Shot blocked by Cook. And Alex after it. And he knocked it off of Flanagan's hands. And it'll come back to Bellarmine. Ben Edlin, owner of Edlin and Edlin Realtors. What a and we've been selling real Cook. estate in the greater Louisville area Who for over 40 the years. And then we have the skills the possession. and the oh, And now goodness. Cook stepped over the baseline apparently on the inbounds. <laughs> and the Knights turn it over. Wow. It's the first time we've seen that yeah, this year. That's... They don't call that very often. Now, guys may do that, but they don't call it. McCollum looking to inbound, baseline right, gets it into Brown, all the way to the hoop, and he lays it in. Boy, that was too easy. Brown has 13, 70 to 55. Bellerman by 15. We near the six-minute mark. Chuck Rusty that time on a cut. McCollum with the foul, his second. That's five now on each team. Luke Regal, a little anguish down to our right. The coach for Parkside. <laughs> Alex Cook explaining how he threw that pass inbounds down there. Troutman inbounds to Coles. The Knights with a full shot clock. Wire top of the circle. They quick cover him up. Out to Troutman. Rusty puts it on the deck. Needs some help. And he is fouled by Kyle Flanagan. That's two fouls on Flanagan, six on the team. Things are getting a little heated here. Uh -huh. Parkside down 15 points. Troutman gets it into Bach on a cut to the basket, and Brent's there to put it in. Brent Bach now quick, has nine. Quick hands that time by Brent to recover that one and uh, still get it in the basket. 72-55, Bellerman by 17. McCullum top left to Brown is deep three way off and Bach rescues it on the baseline for Bellerman. 537 to go. Bach straight ahead on the dribble. Left side he goes to Troutman. Rusty into the corner. The teardrop on the baseline doesn't go and the ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by McCullum. Rusty swung at it. I guess he didn't hit it. Davis is in replacing Troutman for Bellerman. Zagarek and Verhagen come back for Parkside. And they replace Brown and Bunk. Five and a half to go. 
Bellerman by 17. And here is Bach on the left wing. Gets it in, or rather to uh, Davis on the left wing to Bach. 5.23 to go. Cook at the left of the circle. Stops goes. and shoots a three. It is off the mark. And the ball out of bounds. It'll come back to Parkside. <laughs> he's got to get one or two of those up a night. He's made 11 this year, and he shoots yeah, he, 58% from behind the line. He was open, but he, he knew that was too quick. I mean, it was, it was never going in as soon as it left his hand. Kyle Flanagan in the right corner. Out to Chavaris Flanagan, top of the circle. Oh, he walked. Here's his pass off on the high left to McCullum. Five minutes to play in the game. McCullum into the paint. They strip him. It's volleyballed around, and Cook comes down with it. And then got up off his feet and came back down and turns it back over. He jumped to make the outlet pass and couldn't do it. And then when he came back down, he just dropped the ball like he <laughs> trying to get away with it, but didn't work. Inbounds to Kyle Flanagan for Parkside. Now out to McCullum. McCullum drives right of the lane. Out to Chavaris Flanagan. To the right elbow. The lefty fires. Back of the rim, no. Zagarek had it for a moment. And Bellerman knocks it away from him out of bounds. 72-55 to play. Or 72-55 is the score. 4.43 to play. Alex Brown back in for Parkside, replacing Tendale McCullum. Brown looking to inbound, baseline on the left side, comes in it with it to Shavaris Flanagan, right back to Brown. Flanagan, or Brown driving, lays it up on the glass and scores it. Tough shot there because Alex swatted at it, missed it. Brown has 15 points, 72-57. Bellerman the lead and the ball. Bach out front to Davis. Top left to Wire. Now to Coles. Jarek left of the lane. Out front to Cook. Now to Wire who has five threes today. They knock it away from him. Ben recovers. Left side to Coles. Coles, six seconds to shoot. There's a pass down low. Bach has it. Baseline right and he hits it. Brent Bach with 11 today. 74-57. Here's Brown driving. He's bumped. And with 3.58 left, we're going to have a stoppage in play. The foul is on Davis. And when we come back, it'll be Alexander Brown on the free throw line for Parkside. Brent Bach off the bench with 11 points today. Ben Wire off the bench with 15. Alex Cook off the bench with 10. The reserves really helping Bellerman in this game this afternoon. The Knights lead at 74-57. This is Bellarmine Basketball on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. We're headed down the home stretch. Bellerman leading Wisconsin Parkside 74 to 57. Rusty Troutman has 15 points. Adam Eberhardt has 10, and he's coming back into the game. Adam has played only five minutes in this half. Yeah, 17 for the game. Still has seven rebounds. And 10 points. He's been in double figures every game. It's all about the bench today, though. It's 40 to nine. Bellerman has outscored the Parkside bench. Alexander Brown will have a couple of free throws here. He's got 15 points, 11 in this half. And he hits the first free throw, 74-58. Kyle Flanagan has scored 16 for Parkside, and he has scored 10 in this half. Next one by Brown on the rim, and it trickles in, 74-59. Bellerman with the lead. Bellerman 56%. They've shot 50% from the opening gun. 
They were three out of six, their first uh, six shots. They've been over 50% ever since. And if they can stay over 50%, it'll be the 14th time this year that they have done so in a game. Eberhard, left side of the circle, 13 seconds to shoot. George Knott is back in there as well for Bellerman. Coles at the foul line, left side to Knott. Back out front to Coles, a whistle. What do we have? It's a foul on Zagarik. And that'll be his fourth foul. Rusty Troutman coming back in, replacing George Knott. Kendale McCullum coming back for Parkside. And he's going to have to replace somebody, Zagarik. Kind of muttering to himself as he leaves the game. <laughs> I don't think he liked that move. Here is Eberhard at the line for Bellerman. Crowd telling Zagarek to go sit down. Free throw by Adam is good. Yeah, He's they, got 11. They haven't liked a couple of his fouls here lately. Seventy fans, fans behind us. 75-59, 16-point lead for Bellerman. Free throw, perfect. He's got a dozen. And Bellerman with the lead. 76-59 with three and a half minutes to play. Brown deep on the left sideline for Parkside. Comes across to the top of the key. High right to Flanagan. Chavaris to the left of the circle. Leaves it for McCullum. Out to Kyle Flanagan. His three. Left that one short. Eberhard with the rebound for Bellerman. Fielded it off the floor. Jenkins left side to Davis. Thought about it, but wisely <laughs> yeah, backs it out. Tyler had an open shot too. Both of them passed him up. They can kill the clock here now, though, a little bit. Play it a little. Eberhard, top of the circle. They lead by 17. Coles down the lane. Takes it up and in. Jarek Coles and now has eight points, and this bench has been fantastic. Yeah, these, these guards, Bellerman's four guards are really good, really good players. 78-59. The Knights lead it by 19 now. Verhagen, right corner. Out high right, Shavaris Flanagan. Verhagen will try a three from the right side. It's no good. It goes out of bounds. And it'll be Bellerman's ball with 2.36 left. And the Knights, that long away from being 8-1 and one, and assured of at least being in tied for first place and would have the tiebreaker with USI since they won the first matchup. Now, the Eagles will be in here later on in February, so they'll get a chance to take on the Knights again. Last, last game of the regular season. Yep, 78-59, Bellerman, 2.15 left. Bellerman killing clock here. Coles on the left wing, five seconds to shoot. Coles down the right of the lane, missed the layup that time. Brown with a rebound for Parkside. Racing to the offensive end, right side to McCullum, slices inside, out to Bonk for a three from the left wing, bounces twice off the rim, rebound on the deck, and Davis comes away. When you know, the smallest guy on the floor. He has done a terrific job rebounding. Al Davis is averaging, Mark, six rebounds a game in GLBC play. He's got eight tonight. So that'll go up. 78-59. Bellerman on top with Davis working down the left of the lane. Pitches it to Eberhard, and he is clobbered. Jumps to his feet, and now the players get Eberhard away. And a technical foul has been called. It's on Alexander Brown, who can't believe it. Both teams got their players away. Eberhard was mad. He thought he was fouled too hard by Kyle Flanagan. And the Knights got him away, and Parkside got Kyle Flanagan away, so that part was good. But then Alexander Brown apparently said something and got called for the technical. Yeah, get ready. We're going to have to watch this on film, I'm sure. <laughs> Both teams are going to go to their benches. Uh, Flanagan's been pretty, pretty cheap with his fouls here this half. And then Brown got upset. So Flanagan would get his third foul. Now, they haven't signaled that yet. That would be his third. And if it's a technical on Brown, that would be his second. And here comes... My good friends Pick Russell and Greg Webb over here to look at the monitor one more time. He knew that was going to happen. So Eberhard. Marty Storch, the, the, uh, the timer down there said he's taken Flanagan out of the game. I don't know. It doesn't look like he has, but. 
There were there were a couple of players come to the scorers table, okay, so okay. that that may have happened. I think Zagarik yeah, is one. out. He's taking him out of the game. So Zagarik is replacing him. Look, Zagarik has just said something back to one of the he, fans here. He's cussing the fans up above us. He is he is eyeing a fan here. <laughs> you hate to see fans get involved with players having conversation. I don't know who these guys are back here. It's that, it's that fraternity group that's back there, older gentlemen. And there's a someone from the uh, Parkside staff. I think that was their trainer yeah, he down to, here. He, he needs to be a trainer, not worry about our, our fans. But we still haven't had a ruling on uh, the foul. Uh, if it is on Kyle Flanagan, it'll be uh, his third foul. And there is a technical foul called as well on Alexander Brown. Now they're going to bring the coaches together. And Coach Davenport with his club up by 19. Certainly doesn't want to see anyone injured here. And, of course, obviously, Coach Regal the same for Parkside. It's a flagrant one. I think I'm reading reading um, Mr. Russell's lips. So Eberhard will go to the free throw line. The foul was on Kyle Flanagan, his third. And Eberhard will have free throws for Bellerman. The drive for 85 is on the line here, too. We have a flagrant one foul on 50. We got a technical foul on 24. We're going to shoot tech, flagrant, and then it's going to be white ball on the baseline. They've explained that to us. Very good. I don't know if anybody heard that. Uh, did, it's flagrant one on, on uh, Flanagan, then the technical foul, so we're going to shoot some free throws, and it's uh, Bellarmine ball. Minute 34 to go. Game's, game's over. Just, uh, it's just, just played out and... Uh, Put Bellerman at the top of the East Division, and on we go. And Eberhardt hit the first, so now he has 13 points. Adam finds a way to get his points, doesn't he? <laughs> and yeah. he missed that one. Now he will stay there and shoot two. Meanwhile, Coach Davenport is going to bring in five new players, which is the wise thing to do. Eberhard hit the next one, 80 to 59, and he missed that one. So he went, what did he go, two for four up there, right? Two for four, yep. So he has 14 points, and a standing ovation for the starters as they leave the game. Willie Schurfranz, Daniel Ramser, Skyler Hunter, Brent Bach, and Rhett Troutman are in the game for the Knights with a minute 34 left, and Bellerman leading. 80 to 59, it'll be Bellerman's ball. Ramser inbounds to Bach on the left wing, out front to Rhett Troutman. Troutman across the top, gives it to Ramser. Now to Bach at the top left to Hunter. Go Skyler down. looks in at front, Schurfranz, couldn't find him. Now Bach works it to the top of the key. Brent's played well today. Yes, he is. Now to Hunter, Skyler left of the lane. Out front, Bach again. Brent now drives it, lays it up and in. Brent Bach has 13, 82-59. Bellerman needs a three. And the Raising Canes will have the uh, <laughs> folks coming in for the quality chicken fingers. There's a drive by McCullum. His shot, he's left it short, and Rhett Troutman with the rebound for Bellerman. Comes across the midcourt line, gives it to Hunter on the right way. Crowd knows about the 85. Left side to Ramser. Out front to Bach. I still think it would be neat if Rhett would make a three to do it. <laughs> Tried to get that the other night. It didn't happen. They got the 85, but it wasn't Rhett Troutman who put him over the top. Here's Ramser, who did get that 85. Now it was Hunter. Hunter left of the lane. Out to Bach. Here comes the three. Missed that one. Back of the rim. Rebound McCullum. And the Knights will come up short yep. of the 85. 82-59, but a terrific victory for the Knights here today. Here's Shavaris Franklin at the top, high left, now to McCullum. Right side to Verhagen, out to Shavaris Flanagan. He'll unload from there and make it. It's a three for Shavaris Flanagan. The final is 82 to 62. Bellerman inbounds. Scott Davenport walks down and shakes hands with Coach Luke Regal. 
And that is the final. Bellerman improves to eight and one in the GLBC. Parkside falls to seven and two. And Bellerman is assured of being in first place in the Eastern Division of the GLBC pending Southern Indiana's result with Sigour Lewis. Sigourney wouldn't even shake hands. Unbelievable. So did not shake one player's hands. Both teams leave the floor, and Coach Bo Braden, I think, is going to hustle after a player to get, get us. Somebody, probably Ben Wire, if I had to guess. Somebody. Or Brent Bach. To come out here and uh, visit with us before we begin our post-game programming. Mark, it's been quite a two days. Big wins over Lewis and Parkside, two of the better teams, certainly, in the conference. And Bellerman did what they had to do, protected yep. their home court. Yep. Uh, and the streak, uh, the winning streak continues, second longest in the. Uh, yeah, that's right. Second uh, longest in the. Uh, it's going right now. Here comes Ben. It'll be. Uh, Bellerman has now won 36 in a row at Knights Hall, and that is the second longest streak in the country. Kentucky Wesleyan, by the way, has won 39 in a row. And here is Mr. Three Point Shooter today, Ben Wire, who knocked down five of them. And the bench today, Ben, you were certainly a big part of that. Played such a big role in this game. Scored over 40 points. 44 to nine, the bench. So how about that? Uh, I mean, that's just what we got to do. Uh, I mean, we had a good game Thursday, uh, like especially our defense. Uh, I mean, we just played real active. Today we might not have came out as hot, so uh, that's kind of when we come in. We gotta, we gotta be able to keep the same energy or even turn it up a little bit. And uh, I think that's what we did today. And uh, that just, that just shows how much talent we have and how good we are as a team. I think uh, that's just kind of what it tells us. Do you guys get together as a as a group sometimes the reserves and say now look we got to get in there and uh, and hold you know hold the fort and even build on the lead? Uh, I think we I mean you just kind of know like we'll be in practice and uh, I mean we're just so deep he's got to switch people uh, just to get enough people for us to kind of scrimmage each other and run our stuff he's switching people jerseys things like that so uh, that just kind of is a testimony to how deep we are. Uh, I I always hear Jarek every time we go to the bench uh, after the. Uh, announcing the starters and he always says we got to be loud we got to bring the energy so that's kind of something that i think of and uh maybe that keeps us going i'm not sure i'd say jerry blink brings a little energy when he comes in there <laughs> oh yeah uh I i'm gonna assume that you're 100 percent now correct <laughs> uh yeah i feel feel a lot better yeah. uh i mean it, it hasn't really been bothering me uh since i started practicing again uh, it was more of getting in, getting used to everything uh just the speed of the game everything like that and uh, i can just kind of Got to feel myself getting that with uh, each each rep, each time I get in, things like that. Just so, uh, get more confident each game, don't you? Oh, for sure. Yeah, you're, you're playing like it. And for the uh, folks listening, Ben had the plantar fascia problem with the foot early in the year and missed uh, the first uh, six games with the injury. You know that you're on tape now, uh, video. <laughs> People are going to come out to that three-point line and, yeah. and start to guard you, right? Can oh, you yeah. put it on the deck and go buy somebody? Uh, well, that's uh, I did it tonight and I walked. We'll, uh, we'll just keep that a secret, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, something I want to work on. Uh, that's just part of expanding my game and uh, growing as I get used to everything because uh, I was able to do it in high school. The speed of the game changes a lot, and so, uh, like I said, that's that's that work you put in the off season, and uh, I need to even start doing it as soon as I can. So. Well, congratulations. Uh, keep Stay hot, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, that's Ben Wire. Enjoy that locker room. Who uh, had a huge game today for uh, the Knights, played 19 minutes and scored uh, 15 points. Well, much more to come on our post-game programming. Of course, we'll have Coach uh, Davenport on the new Yale Coaches interview, and we'll have other parts of our programming as well. That's uh, coming up. Don't forget the Burkhead Heating and Air Hot Player of the Game also as part of our post-game programming. That's next here on the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. WGTK, Louisville. When Bellarmine needs excellent travel planning, they call the experts at Knights Travel. Knights Travel. You're